has been the protection of this offensive line. James Hurst, John Urschel, they have been sensational. The way in which I fell in love with math and football were actually quite different. So when it came to football, my father was a football player. In his office, he had this, uh, he had this portrait of himself like mid-stride running around on the football field. And when I was a little kid, I would always, I would look at it and think like, oh, I want to be like, just like my dad, you know, I want to be a football player. Uh, math was, uh, was different. Before I got to college, I didn't know what a mathematician was. I had actually never even heard heard the name, and I bet if you asked my high school self like what people who just study math do, I would have guessed they become teachers. And when I got to Penn State, I started out majoring in aerospace engineering just because my mother told me to. My mom told me I was good at math, I was good at physics, and she told me the smartest people become rocket scientists. And so I got to Penn State, and I'm taking all my math classes, I'm taking all my physics classes, and I'm loving them. And I'm enjoying them way more than the engineering classes I have to start taking. And then I sort of realize maybe I should just major in math or major in physics. And then when I started majoring in math and I started interacting with math professors, I started to realize that you can actually do things with math. You know, you can become a mathematical researcher. You can be a math professor. You can be a mathematician working for Google and sort of so many things in between. And so it was at Penn State that I really came to recognize what you can do with math. And my main goal getting to Penn State was just to put my head down and get to work. And I can tell you that my, uh, my five years at Penn State, these are five of the best years of my life. I was, I was really focused on proving myself as a football player and really my big goal was to be a starting offensive lineman in the Big Ten. And my focus was really on just working hard, trying to be the best football player I could be, and then do well in my classes. And I thought, oh, I'll, I'll figure out what I actually want to do as, you know, as time goes on. College football, I would say, was by far my favorite level of football among, you know, like, you know, grade school, high school, college, and professional. It's something special. And to be able to go out there, you know, every Saturday, represent my university, a university that, you know, gave me so much and means so much to me, it's, it's special. I mean, to this day, you know, my best friends in the world are guys I played college football with, but given my career as a mathematician, somehow you don't get to be close to college football so much. I think the biggest thing I left my three years on the committee with was sort of realizing just how much goes into these college football playoff rankings. Having been a part of it, I've left with the utmost respect for the process and for the college football playoff board and everything that they do. Penn State, in my experience, both as a student there and as an athlete on the football team, has shaped who I am and where I am today. I mean, it's at Penn State where my love of math, something that I've always really enjoyed, turned from a hobby to actually my life's passion. There were a number of people that really helped me along in my math career at Penn State. The very first was a professor by the name of Nadine Kalosha. He sought me out and he asked if I would be interested in doing some readings outside of class. And this eventually grew into a research project. And this was the very first time I had ever done research. And I can tell you, I was absolutely in love. And I was just obsessed. And it was at that point that I realized I want to be a mathematical researcher. This is what I want to do. When I think of Black History Month, I think of all the people who came before me and all the people who made sacrifices, all the people who persevered so that I can have a much easier life than they did. I think what I do mathematically matters more than just for myself because I am a black mathematician. I you know, I recognize this and I think I have a responsibility to one, try to be a good role model and two, try to mentor young would-be mathematicians that otherwise might not see themselves in, uh, in a certain field. I think the thing I would tell people is if you find something that you're very passionate about and that you're driven to do, 
just just go all in. Life's too short to sort of not do things to the best of your ability if that's something you're sort of like driven to do.